Aries, you need to know this right now for January the 29th through January the 30th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for January the 29th through January the 30th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for January the 29th through January the 30th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for January the 29th through January the 30th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aries. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Aries, listen, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Aries. Clarify the moon for Aries. Clarify the moon for Aries. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that something is off balance. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. So Aries, listen, very well could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument because something is off balance and something could be off balance with the giving and receiving here. However, Aries, you can tell me some type of secret came out about someone out being a player. Someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Aries, you have the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. Could also tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Aries. 
it is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. You know, Aries, it very well could be some type of confusion going on dealing with these coins because you're telling me that something is off balance of being shortchanged here. You may be thinking about some type of legal documentation or paperwork. However, Aries, you can tell me that there was some type of confusion, lies, or illusions, or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. And you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship and maybe thinking about cutting them off. Aries, you have the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Aries, listen, you can have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Aries. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So Aries, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love. Or some news about what love produce because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. It is clarified with the eight of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft. Perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that this is all work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work here. So Aries, listen, very well could have been a heated discussion or argument at work about these coins here. And maybe someone's apologizing here. Aries, it very well could be that, hey, someone's apologizing, wanting to work things out after you guys had this heated discussion or argument in your relationship. You know, Aries, I hope we're not finding out that someone's other options is someone that they work with and do business with here. That they started a passionate new beginning because we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love here with someone they work with and do business with. Aries, you have the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. 
Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Aries, listen, you could be having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Two of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag, this is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Aries, listen, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. So listen, you can tell me that you're trying to decide whether or not you want to go to maybe a former employer here, because this could all be work or business. You could also tell me that you're trying to decide whether or not you want to reunite with this person. For some of you guys, this is about some type of payment concerning children here that's causing an argument here. Aries, you have the fool. This is you, Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey, to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the fool for Aries. Clarify the fool for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the fool for Aries. It is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. You know, Aries, you can tell me the reason why you're on a break is because they took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. They could have given somewhere else more to two. We very well could have found that they were out being a player here with these other options. Aries, you could also tell me that you're meditating on maybe taking a leap of faith here because you're sick and tired of this workplace here that's fooling around with your coins. Aries, you need to know this right now for January the 29th through January the 30th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.